I wasted like eight to 10 years of my life doing literally nothing but getting high. I didn't really ever address the issues and the pain from when my dad died when I was 11. And so I was holding all of that in. I thought that the drug was what was helping me, yeah. making me better. I lived on the same street my entire life. It's definitely a normal kid living a normal life. I was smart. I was always at school, and uh, I cared a lot about my grades. My dad was always working, and he usually worked um, third shift at like a steel plant. I went home one day from elementary school, and I saw his truck there. Come to find out, he contracted mesothelioma. Within a year, he was gone. When you're 11, you know what's going on, but you don't at the same time. I don't think I processed it then. I went on to dance in middle school, high school. I danced on the uh, Russell High School dance team. I would say it was probably more important than school. I didn't make it, and so that was, uh, it was hard because I knew I wasn't gonna be dancing anymore. I was so used to like a strict schedule of like, I have to be here at this time. I had never had time, you know what I mean, to do anything. And all of a sudden, I had all the time in the world to do whatever I wanted to do. So I met, you know, some people and they introduced me to Percocet and I was like, where has this been my whole life? Even at the time, I didn't know that it, it was something I could get addicted to. Cause I, like in high school, I was always that person that was like making fun of people that did drugs. I was like, I would never do that, that's stupid. So I just thought, this. This is just medicine, it's fine. Um, until I didn't have it and I started feeling bad and then I realized this is serious. <laughs> there was the first time that I felt like me again. I felt like I can I could do this, you know. When I when I sat and I think about the reasons that I used and why I did it for so long, it was to numb the way that I felt. But when I started interning and helping other people, I realized it was something that I really loved. That's what ignited the spark. And that's what, you know, helping people and bringing people to recovery is something that is really important to me because I've been through it and I understand. And it's not something that's easy to get through. Um, but I think that if, if we, you know, if we think about it and we address the trauma and we, move forward and are determined to do better, then there's no way we couldn't be successful.